Hello guys, Megashipper here, and today was the new update with the new floor that coming out. But in this video, we can have a look at the new banner that was released after the maintenance. And this banner is called Cowgirl Order, and I wonder if they're gonna put a cowboy order. Who knows? Maybe. Anyway, this banner is a step up banner with three steps, where step one, three percent off, step two, regular price, and step three, a random four guaranteed four star skill. And on this banner, we have four new future skills Xenon, Leafa, Koharu, Asuna, where Xenon is a regular skill, Leafa, Mod skill, Koharu, Bird skill, and Asuna, an um, awakening skill. So, gonna re be really interesting to see what they have uh, some effect and stuff. And also, I'm gonna pull this banner, of course, one rotation. And this banner is available for like two weeks, which is pretty decent uh, duration. And hopefully you guys got your reward from the GOG. So the first skill we have here is the Tomalutos Chase Leafa. I hopefully I read it right here. Um, so it's a one-handed sword with the skill animation Gaia Slant, and Slant should be the same as the one two-star Clane, uh, which I can show you in this video here, right here. And the skill has 26 SP cost with Element Slash and Earth. So this is our uh, third uh, earth mod sword skill 1260% damage single hit when equipping one or more creator skill record in the same set the skill will receive plus 500 attack and also restore 8000 hp when using it on skill while on switch um another bad earth skill huh wow no that's not good so, aiming for your heart, Asuna is a rapier skill with wind pain. Uh, the pain should be the same animation as the motivation voice Asuna, which you can see here. And its elements is trust and wind, so it's a wind um, rapier, real nice. 1290% uh, damage, 4 hit single foe. Switch damage increased by three, uh, multiplied by 300% for 10 seconds and crit rate. Oh, wait, crit rate 300%? That is actually a good mod fodder, especially for if you're doing uh, the hardest content right now, the Chaos 155. Uh, they have a crit resistance of 250 crit rate. So that is actually not bad for as a mod fodder. And for Awakening Skill, 7.5 crit damage the rapier is actually good hmm interesting the next is master of quick draw xenon so this is a pass skill all right real nice so let's see uh, while buff attack plus is effect defense plus 25 percent and also you receive 15 percent crit damage actually good for a mod uh, sword user uh, especially if you have ph piercing hero is you can activate the defense really fast that is nice uh, skillet captor koharu so this is a burst skill dagger burst with storm invasion and invasion should be the same as the uh, treasure hunter philia which you can see here with 26 sp wow start and wind uh, 1220 percent damage three hit single foe uh, will uh, give you bleed a specific raid and bonus damage to enemy weak to slash 50 percent hmm okay uh, for the burst you need wind slash slash wind 3410 percent damage and gives you bleed a guaranteed bleed five stacks and also a 20 percent attack against enemy with status element at 80% wait 80% damn if the enemy is weak to slash this is actually a good burst skill uh use specific for bosses that are weak to slash so yeah for the rate 0 0.325 so in total 1.3 for the fusion skill um oh wait set three set three sorry sorry uh, scroll down so we have 8.125 percent for the individual and together should be close to 33 percent for fusion and 67 percent for a uh, random force 
or off in future skill. So, um, before I go do the polls, is this banner worth the pull uh, or worth your current gems? In my opinion, not really, especially if you're free to play. Uh, this banner is only worth if you are a dagger user, rapier user, or um, sword, mod sword user. And if you don't have the mod sword or a mod sword, this is biggest trap to yet uh, because this Leafa isn't that really good. You don't really need 8k um, HP back or 500 attack. So yeah, it, it may be a good mod for her, but and it's just bad. And um, for this one, the rapier, it definitely is good as a mod for her, but also as a off, uh, off skills. So real nice. Um, this one. If you have a mod sword and lacking passive, this is definitely a worth to get, especially if you have a piercing hero in your set. Otherwise, you have to use Koharu uh, to buff your attack to activate the defense. So yeah, any buff that gives you attack plus is real nice to have. So and twenty five percent defense at max limit break, that is a lot, a big number, and I guess it can compete with the uh, cold with Xenon. And for Koharu, uh, it's a really good uh, uh, burst skill, but it's limited to against uh, bosses that are weak to slash. Because if you're using on other boss that is not weak to slash, you're missing a lot of damage. You're missing the 50% uh, damage and also 80% when you activate in burst. So it has some limits, but it's still a really decent burst skill, at least better than the mod sword there. So yeah, um, if you're a whale, definitely worth the pull but as a free to play or if you want to uh, increase your performance not really worth it Pro uh, probably save your account gem for something else so yeah um if you don't have cold with xenon maybe but you know you have also think that you have 33 percent chance to get the futuring otherwise if you don't hit it you'll just waste your account gems and hopefully i can prove it that is really low chance to get it when I do this rotation here. But yeah, uh, but step one, if you want to try your luck, go ahead. Um, otherwise, you should pull this banner if you can do a three step and you following the requirement. If you are uh, want to perform, increase your damage uh, as a mod a sword user or rape, uh, have better rape skill or a better burst skill. So yeah, that's my opinion on the banner and time to pull on this banner and see what we can get. Um, on this account, I don't know what I really need, so I use polling. I'm just gonna make sure I am have turned on the notification. Because it's kinda annoying to see people or missing me or something. Which you guys have probably seen a lot of my video before. or I think especially all videos, a lot of uh, pop up. So for this banner, if I want the fear skill, we want to see a dagger and sword. Actually, let's skip the sword because hopefully I don't get it. It's, it is a bad mod, uh, mod skill. Um, I mean, all the earth mod sword skill are kind of bad. Uh, let's see, who had them? I think Yuki had the earth skill, the birthday one. So we have Orge, Kirito, birthday uh, Yuki. And on this, the cowgirl Leafa. Well, uh, both all of them have bad bonus. So really unlucky, but yeah. I don't know why they're treating the earth skill like that. I mean, earth skill will be pretty good. But, mm, who knows? So yeah. Um, rapier, I guess... Like I said, rapier is pretty good here. Um, if you use rapier, I I haven't. I actually I don't see a lot of people use rapier these days. And I'm not getting anything good, huh? That was the last poll. All right, for step two, let's continue. Um, so the rapier, I haven't seen a lot. Of, I mean, when was the last time people made a run with rapier? Mostly people do run with like what, um, bow and mod sword, 
or dagger. So yeah, I like showcasing, flexing the damage, flexing their um, runs, their fastest run. So yeah, uh, rapiers kind of getting there. Uh, now they're getting a lot of good mod fodder, especially 300 percent crit rate and one slot. That is actually good. Basically, that is like if you put it on a mod fodder, you're basically critting every time. And that means you can focus on putting crit damage if you want, uh, deal more damage. Just imagine if you have the uh, what is it called the fusion teller Asuna, the one with fusion teller. Imagine you put that, or uh, imagine if you use that skill and put it the the cowgirl Asuna. That is a guaranteed crit, which is really nice, and uh, also. Um, they're also releasing a lot of boss with crit resistance, so that is also good for that. Um, hope, I think they will do that in, on the raid, who knows. And I'm not getting any good so far, huh? No rapier, one dagger, few small sword, wow. Alright, last step, last step. Come on, something, something good. Uh, let's see. If I will, uh, since you guys seen, I'm using a lot of, uh, a lot small sword sets, and I don't have cool with xenon, but I don't actually know if I really want the xenon one. I'm, I'm doing fine without it, but you know, twenty five percent defense at max limb break, that is actually a lot. And if you will compare it to Core with Xenon, Core with Xenon is scaling with your level, and since they always increase or they have increased the level cap now, the level cap is now at 170, and that gives you what? 20. 25.5 percent defense, so it's already, and that is without having max limb break or anything. That is just with your level. So just imagine if uh, just imagine if you had the both, basically getting three percent defense and mod sword uh, scale with a lot of defense, basically double the your damage instead of scaling with attack. So yeah. Um, but the ban is kind of risky since it's pretty low chance to get it. Wait, oh, yay! All right. Okay, I approve my hair. That is the risk here. Um, wasting six thousand two hundred fifty arcana gems. Getting. It's not a decent, a decent skill either. It's like maybe good for early, but late game, no, nah. All right, I'm done with this game. Yeah. Um. Uh, it wasn't. It's, it, it is a new skill, but yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm holding on anyway. Um, so that is for me today. And if you plan to pull on the banner, I wish you a good luck because banner ha is rigging. So yeah, um, I wish you a good luck on the banner. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video, hopefully. And yeah, that is for me. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Um, bye bye.